So what I did after it, I added another Stereo plugin, adjusted the width, and this is the holy grail of trying to save clap or kick or even hi-hat samples, this uh, transient designer. Now, once again, you don't have to use the UAD one. This is just happens to be my personal favorite, but the native instruments one is something pretty good. There are also other ones. This plugin has a newer version uh, out from Plugin Alliance, and it, that's how they got as good as this UAD one. So I would stick with the native instruments one if you can get that. What this plugin does very well is the attack parameter. Because the sustain, I would say that most of the transient shaper plugins are doing a good enough job with the sustain. It's, it's believable. But with the attack, sometimes they are not as fast. Sometimes they are grabbing it too hard. So this is just right. And so what I do in many cases is I'm going to enhance the attack. Once again, it's the same concept as it is with the analog emulation plugin after a neutral something that I'm going to enhance the attack a little bit too much. And then I'm going to apply a brick wall limiter after it so that I have this feeling of the attack being enhanced. But at the same time, I don't get the peak. So once again, I have the benefit without the drawback that I would normally have.